So uh, as a little thought experiment, if I ask you how mentally healthy you are right now, okay? So how mentally healthy are you? Okay, actually, um, don't, don't scream out how mentally healthy you are. <laughs> but, but if I were to ask you how mentally healthy, you know how I said if, so this is like conditional. Uh, if I did, what kind of words would you use to describe your mental health? And remember, because I'm a clinical psychologist, I can sit with silence for a long time, okay? So, so, uh, so I'm, I'm really, I'm curious for those brave enough to kind of, what kind of words would you use to describe? Yeah. Poor. So poor, yeah. Um, I, I'd be more at ease. At ease. At ease. Would, I've spent a lot of years working through mental health issues. Yeah. So good mental health to you would look like being at ease. Uh, as mm -hmm. close as it can Or go. that would be, yeah, good, good. Flexible, yeah. Resilient. Okay, resilient. Uh, that's an interesting, resilience an interesting one, yeah. Volatile. Volatile, so, so, uh, so would good mental health look volatile or is it the absence of, the absence. of volatile would be good mental health, yeah? I'd really good to see uh, how tired I'm feeling. So how tired you're feeling, so being less tired. So let's flip that around. So, so the more energetic, the more energy you have? More rested, yeah. Good mental health, yeah. Nutrition, nutrition, yeah. Fitting in, fitting in, yeah. Calm, calm, good. So a lot of these are all these are these are all great, okay, and and very important. Uh, what nobody said was I would have um, a T score of fifty six, okay, instead of sixty, right? Nobody nobody says I have um, seven. Uh, I, I only have three of the criteria instead of six, okay? It's not simply about a reduction of something. It's really, for the most part, about a lessening of aversive or a lessening of negative experience, as well as, if we put it together, an adding of positive experience. Okay? If we were to say, okay, what about positive constructs, okay, positive outcomes? If, if we have to define them by positive constructs, if it's not just the absence of something to be positive, what words will we use? So we had some of them already, at ease, you know, rested, um, energetic, um, uh, nutrition or, or, or good health, I could extrapolate from that. These are all kind of components. Anything else that we would put in if we said these are positive outcomes? And don't look at your slides, okay, because it ruins the fun. Personal acceptance? So personal so acceptance, okay, yeah. Grounded. Grounded. Dynamic, sure, at the back. What? Connected. Connected, yeah. So we're getting it, yeah. How about balance? Balance. So it's not just about positive, if that's what you mean by balance, but, uh, but it is, it's about a balance between things. Yeah. So I don't have all the answers. I don't have a magical recipe list of everything that goes into here. It's not like it's a specific uh, you know, cake that you need to bake and you have to put this much of this and this much of that. But the idea here is that um, we don't measure these positive constructs as well as we do the, those negative ones. Okay? If we just Googled, when, if, if I Google positive mental health, this is the image that comes out okay, online. So it's a very nice kind of flowery picture of support networks, balanced diet, employment activities, positive emotions, relaxation, recreational activities, exercise, sleep, relationships, personal, spiritual development. These are all wonderful constructs that for some of us more than others are part of our lives and, and we would say what we would want if we were talking about promoting or having good mental health. Excellent. Okay, now we're heading in this other direction. This is, you know, how do we actually measure um, personal spiritual development in somebody with ASD? What are, what's the literature like that? About how, how about the literature on recreational activities or on relaxation or on positive emotions? So ratings of happiness or a scale that, that adequately and effectively and validly measures happiness as well as the, the 40 different questionnaires that exist to measure anxiety. Okay? So I'm not criticizing that literature at all. It's critical to have balance, as somebody said at the back, but let's actually see about having balance. Okay? So if we talk about these things, right, we start to think about, if we, let's follow that same narrative, right? and that's what we're going to do for the rest of the talk. We're going to talk about these things at the beginning and what we measure here, and let's see how that takes us down the road of measurement, operationalization or concept, conceptualization, uh, intervention in a lab, and intervention in the community. And let's see if it looks different than CBT. The newsflash it does. <laughs>